Starting off where we left off yesterday, man, where we said Elon Musk is a f***ing troll, bro. Just come on, bro. Look, Elon Musk has had a verification system to verify verified accounts. Taking it out. Then they got confirmed by Lucky. You can actually see where it says, looks like the official badge are making a comeback. And you can see right there where it has NBA 2K. If you've really verified, then it has official underneath, right? But then later on this morning, hey, that boy Edward, uh, Edward Ford say, look, bro, now it's gone. Elon is lost, bro. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Hey, that's what you can do when you got money, man. And so what Elon came with was this right here, man. Sorry. I couldn't resist. This stuff right here be funny as hell to me because like I'm a science geek or whatever, man. So it's super funny to me. And then this one right here, join the resistance. Um, all that's electricity jokes and all that. All my electrical engineers out there, I know y'all chilling with it, man. And y'all, y'all loving this right here. Is it like I said, he's just a clown, man. He's a he is a troll, and I love it, man. But you know what? Also, you can love today is the day we're giving away $50 in VC, $50 in cash out, or we're giving away a video game, the extra regular ass edition of any video game that you want, man. You can get that God of War. You didn't, you, you didn't, that paycheck didn't hit just yet, and you want to get it today, I'll get it for you. All you gotta do like the video and put Riri down in the comment section y'all gonna see why at the end of the video that's gonna get you entered to win the $50 in cash out $50 in VC or a copy of a video game that's today if we can continue to average 8k views per video though y'all slacking like a motherfucker man y'all need to go back and watch these videos I'm not gonna lie to y'all but if we can average those 8k views we're gonna be giving away a next gen console um either next gen console 500 bucks or we're gonna give away um a laptop or something like that all you gotta do is like the video and comment Riri at the end of this joint and the more videos you do it all the better your chances and with all that out of the way man good morning out there in 2k land man check it out bro hey we uh we started the day off bro with um with some stuff man and i don't know how true it is uh a lot of this stuff bro you gotta take it with a grain of salt because we know how social media is and all of this good stuff man and uh like i said bro we just gonna get right into it and we seem like duke dennis is leaving out I don't believe it. I think it's some type of stunt, and we've seen this stuff before. He could be totally right or totally serious, but we can hear what he has to say about it. The whole thing, I'm leaving AMP, I quit. I'm tired of being around them niggas. Like, like them, them niggas don't do shit for me. Like, we don't relate. I'm way older than them niggas. is like childish as fuck, so I'm done. <clears throat> Hey, that's what they saying, man. That's what it is. That's what, I, like I said, I've seen this type of stuff before. And they might have almost had me, but then I saw the same thing on Davis's joint, man. And Davis is like, thank goodness, bro. And like I said, he's talking the same thing. It's literally the same video. And it says Duke Dennis is officially, officially leaving AMP. This is something that they put out there. And like I said, this is out there. But... I've seen it all before, man. Just like y'all probably seen this this blue slush, man, from Sonic, man. I got I get that uh, coca, blue oh blue, coconut slush, man. That's why I, that's why I'm out here looking like the demolition out here. <sighs> I'm out here looking like the uh, mm -hmm, the demolition or whatever it is. Was it the demolition? Yeah, that was demolition. Anyway, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think he's actually leaving AMP or do y'all think this is one of those tricks or whatever like that? Now, if we want. To kind of go a step further, like he said, where he said, I'm a little bit old and all that. He did put this up there the other day. It's like, I'm getting cooked. Like somebody says, 30 is not old. Can we stop? And he says, I've been getting cooked for four months for being 28 or whatever. So that would that would stand the reason that he is a little bit older than those guys and probably can't. But see, I don't think that, to me, this is how this is the way I see it. And the reason that I'm, I'm having difficulty buying into it. Because if you, it, like, I don't think he stays in the house. I don't think he ever has stayed in the house. He might. I do not know. But if it was a situation like that where we was making hell of bread and I had an issue with them guys or whatever like that, what I would do I wouldn't just quit. I'll just be like, yo, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be in SC whenever uh you know 99% of the time I'm not living here. And when I am here, when y'all get ready to shoot or do whatever y'all gonna do, I'll be here. I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm back up out of there. Cause like I said, now if it is real. Can you blame anybody for feeling that way? Because I can't live with no bunch of people either, bro. I, I can I can barely live with my wife. I ain't gonna catch it. Bridget! Bridget probably somewhere like, shut the f up. Shut the f up. You already know I gotta live, but yeah, I can barely live with, with, with who I'm married to and my kids and stuff. 
like that. Bro, they be getting on my nerves. Y'all have no clue how hard it is to be an adult content creator when you got all this stuff going. A lot of y'all like adult content creators too, though. But but you got all this stuff going. You trying to entertain. Then you then the wife is asking you a question. The kid need help with his homework. Stuff like that. And all I'm trying to do is carve out 20 minutes a day to get y'all a video, bro. It's so hard. But. So I definitely understand that part of it where it's like, I can barely, I barely can live with who I, look man, I think, I ain't gonna, can, can we talk right right quick? We all men, bro, I think most men would take this deal right here. Actually, we know most men do, that's why the whole concept of the man cave exists. So we can go somewhere in our house, I still live with y'all, I still love y'all, I wanna interact with y'all, but when I wanna be left the fuck alone, I can just go in my room and do my own thing. If I can get a little outhouse built on, attachment out to the back, or live in the garage or something like that when I'm trying to get my stuff done, I ain't gonna lie to you, that's what I would do. But I was, I was about to say, I think most men gonna take that deal, but that's the whole concept of the man cave. So we know that most guys are gonna, you know what I'm saying? Most guys want that. We just want our little workshop, our little garage, our little whatever you do, whatever your your thing is, uh, building stuff, wood shop, all that. We just wanna be left alone a little bit, decompress and get into it. So I definitely understand that if that's the case. But like I said, I'm having difficulty believing I'm not gonna calculate you. I mean, I, I think it, it might be something that they got something built up and uh, you know, we gonna hear something Duke Dennis come back, whatever. Like, it, can you blame us? Like, it could be completely true and everything could be it, but could you blame us if we don't believe it? I don't think you could. Up next, we got my boy, Jay Nell says, hear me out. I feel like you shouldn't lose an adrenaline bar for successful pokes or blocks. Uh, for instance, sometimes you block the ball out of bounds which is a good defensive play, but you lose a bar for the rest of the possession. Now, I want to take that a step further, but we got to tell them the way that we want them to do it. Uh, Jay, instead of saying you shouldn't lose a bar, I think that you should have a bar instead of, because you, you can't say it like that, because how would they program it to not lose it? So you should get a bar returned for those successful things. And now take it a step further. If you get a successful kill, a successful ankle breaker on something, I think the bar that you lost that triggered that ankle breaker should come back. You like let's say if you if you kill somebody on your last ankle breaker bar and the bar is gone, you can't really do nothing with it. So I think for successful things that you did, I think you should get returned, the, the bar should get returned for that. So if I'm at my last bar and I jump and block the shot and I get the block, then I should get it back. Sometimes I, I tip the ball away, like you said, and I just don't get it. And so, yes, yeah, so for those successful interactions, they should return that bar. I think that's, that's the way that they would have to program. You can't say you don't lose it because the way that programming works, it doesn't work like that. It's not gonna say, it's gonna say if you hit it and nothing happens, then don't lose, you can't really say don't lose a bar. You have to tell, it would, it would appear that you didn't lose one, but you would say return, return one bar for that, for that successful attempt or whatever like that. So I think that would be dope actually. Not even gonna lie to y'all. That boy Toxic said a lot of people in the community who will go out, there are a lot of people in the community who will go out of their way to help when it's needed or called upon. That's, that's love. I appreciate those who reach out and uh, helped. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, look man. If that's how it is, man. That's how we should be. We are a community of people. I think that I think that people should help each other. That's what people are based on. That's how people are. Uh, I'm gonna help anybody in in any you know within reason as much as I possibly can. So that's what I'm gonna do. Especially if it's something that as simple as you know just bringing light to a subject or something like that. So you know I think that's always dope. That's just good. The boy Stacks put this out here. He said, "Hey man, 10k a month guaranteed for doing nothing or 100k a month, but you work 12 hours." Monday through Friday. And I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it hundred percent stacked with you. I think everybody is gonna take the hundred K a month working twelve hours Monday through Friday. Because most of us work 12 hours a day, Monday through Friday anyway, for a whole lot less money. So, so like like what I want, I don't want 10 grand just for just for free when I can put in a little work and get and get 10 times that and that's really what happens on everything you do you can do something little and it can be free or you can do you know what i'm saying you put in a little work and you multiply it exponentially and last but not least i want to know what y'all passing style is man because that boy like i said man might have to say goodbye to the lamello pass style bro been selling my shit and uh <laughs> on these paint to corner passes i gotta see how lebron is if it's any better or worse 
uh, with the with the variances and animation and stuff like that. And uh, some people say LeBron pass style is so good and all uh, stuff like that. Let me know what y'all pass style is. I, I might try fundamental because uh, that's all I can get because my passing is only 70. So, you know, that's where we at with that. But, you know, we're going to see how that goes, man. Also, um, so, you know, it's going to be good. Also, man, I got something in the works for y'all. I know y'all know Black Panther coming out today. We got the Riri, um, you know, Riri Williams is going to be in there. It's going to be her whole thing, uh, like debut and all of that. So we got a video. I'm going to give y'all a little sneak preview. We got a video. I got my boy J-Mo. Y'all put his channel down in the description. Y'all go check that out. He is creating Riri Williams in the game for me right now. So at the end of um probably the next couple of days or so, y'all will see a video coming iron heart on the court let me know if y'all want me to do a whole season or just a game or whatever like that i'm probably gonna do a season and a game because i gotta try to get this you know what i'm talking about it wasn't free so i gotta try to recoup some of this thing man but y'all know what it is man let me know what y'all think down in the comment section are y'all gonna be in there for that video please watch those videos man look those videos be taking five six hours to edit and get right and get done and like y'all boys just be completely disrespecting them man the doctor disrespect the cash nasty all them joints took a lot of time go back and watch them for your boy please man uh we probably gonna choose the 50 dollar winner from one of those this week hint 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 and i'm out of y'all that's all i got for y'all today man make sure y'all comment reread down in the comment section and i'm holla y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ guys, please, guys.